Let's return now to Cuba and preparations for Fidel Castro's state funeral. As we heard a little earlier, several memorials have been taking place across the world. I'm joined live from Havana now by correspondent Michael Voss for more details. Michael, can you run us through some of the main events planned ahead of Fidel Castro's state funeral? Well, as you may be able to see behind me here in Revolution Square, uh, people are still lining up to pay their tributes. It's coming to an end. They're just closing the lines now. In the next half hour, uh, it will be over. Tens of thousands of Cubans have come here to Revolution Square. Uh, this is where Fidel, center of power, it's where Fidel Castro gave many of his fiery speeches and uh, lasted for hours. Now it's Cubans who have spent hours in line in the sun waiting to go in pay their respects, file slowly past a large portrait of Fidel as the young man, the fighter, the revolutionary guerrilla fighter in the Sierra Maestra Mountains, surrounded by an honor guard. And then later on this evening, there will be a big rally, a big mass rally here. We're expecting a keynote address from uh, President Raul Castro, Fidel's younger brother, and a lot of heads of state are coming in from around the world to attend that. Then, on Wednesday, his, uh, Fidel Castro's uh, ashes, the urn, will be taken overland, the 900 kilometers from Havana to Santiago. It'll take three or four days. It'll give everyone in the country, uh, people in the rural districts and the countryside, a chance to come and pay their respects to him. And then he will be buried in Santiago on Sunday. Do we know at this stage which world leaders will be attending the funeral? Well, it's, I mean, a lot of, I think a lot of people are actually going to attend Tuesday night, tonight's special event here in the square. We believe that, uh, that, that there is a, a, a large contingent from Africa, as we would expect, uh, given Cuba's past history there of sending troops to fight in the independence movements. We have, for example, Jacob Zuma of South Africa is on the, on the list to arrive here. Um, Remember that Nelson Mandela credited the Cuban troops defeating the South African army in Angola as one of the tipping points that helped end apartheid. Um, a lot of heads of state from around Latin America um, that we're getting from China. The vice president, Li Wan Chao, is here. Um, we still don't know whether President Obama is, is going to send somebody to attend. I've spoken to the... Uh, U.S. Embassy just a few moments ago, they still don't know who, if anyone, will come from the U.S. All right. Michael Vos joining, joining us live from Havana. Many thanks.